So let's talk about um, lifters in a Volvo V20. So this is the, um, the old uh, pushrod motor and people very commonly use uh, standard Chevy um, solid flat tappet lifters in these because they literally have the same exact bore size as the standard Chevy um, small block. Um, a few people have suggested using the Chevy lifters that have the EDM cut um, oiling hole. That works okay in a Chevy because um, a Chevy has a pressure feed to the um, lifter bores, but the Volvo doesn't. Um, the lifter bores in a Volvo are just splash lubrication and there is no um, oil pressure feed to those, so you, you just cannot convert these to hydraulic. Um, they will only work with um, solid flat tappet. Um, is there any advantage to using the EDM hole? Um, no, because unlike a so unlike in a Chevy where you do have pressure feed going into here and you have pressure feed um, squirting oil out of there, that would accomplish absolutely nothing. Um, you might have a little bit of drain back from the rods dripping into there and somehow pulling there and you know that would just accomplish nothing because you already have those really big holes there, there, these um, those big holes there where um, any oil from the head would um, drain back. And furthermore, the amount of oil draining back through those holes is absolutely negligible compared to, look at this crank. So you have the crank and this guy will be spinning at, you know what, five, 6,000 RPM. And that's going to create a massive um, oil cloud inside of the crankcase. And, and just by the way this um, spins, this will spray a ton of oil right there on the cam lobes. Um, the cam lobes in a B20, um, I believe, are a lot more exposed to um, crank rotating oil spray than they are in a small block Chevy. Um, don't remember exactly a small block Chevy if, if how covered the bottom of the um, cam um, galley is or not. But anyway, yeah, I mean, there is just a massive amount of um, oil spray coming off of these. So is, is splash lubrication good enough on these? Um, you know, I mean, I don't have an absolute answer but I would say very, very likely. I mean, considering these engines have been known to last literally millions of miles with no problem with this design, um, with just a basic splash lubrication on there. Um, yeah, so, um, yeah, anyway, I mean, I mean what, what would obviously be really nice um, is if you could convert this over to, um, to, uh, roller lifters or, but again, the, the amount of effort required to convert this to rollers would be huge. I mean, first of all, the base circle of the cam is really small and I don't think you could get a roller lifter cam, um, through here without going to a uh, larger um, bearings and then second you would need some sort of um, mechanism to secure the lifters and keep keep the lifters from spinning and I just don't really see a super practical way of keeping the um, lifters um, aligned. I mean, unless you had some sort of plate going underneath them, uh, across them, I don't know if you would have enough room there. Um, and actually, no, because if you, 
me see if I can, yeah. So if you look here, um, the cam bore is very close to the lifter bore. Um, so you would need the rollers actually fitting up in there. Um, I don't know, maybe on the top, you would need to get some really super long uh, lifters to stick up out of the bore here on the on the top side and somehow secure them that way um and i just really don't see how that will be practical so you know i'm i'm sure with enough money um you could probably get um a roller lifter cam working in there but i just i don't I don't really see that as being super practical when if you want a little bit better design well then hell just literally just stick in an overhead cam motor which is the same basic block same bell housing same basic bottom end except it has a better overhead cam head so um yeah okay Anyway, so that's just my basic thoughts on a lifters and roller lifters in the B20. Um, my opinion, um, the solid lifters are perfectly acceptable if you buy the decent quality. Um, if you buy decent quality lifters, if you buy decent quality lifters that have, and you absolutely measure that they have the proper crown on them to go with the right um, uh, taper that should be ground on the cam lobes. And I'm not going to go into detail about lifter failures. You can just look on YouTube for like 5,000 videos about correct lifter geometry. But yeah, you just need a proper crown on there because these need to rotate in their bore relative to the cam. Um, this design of block has plenty of um, splash lubrication from the crank. Um, I see zero advantage. In fact, I probably see a detriment to going to um, EDM holes because it's adding another surface in here to um, another hole in there to potentially grab on. There will be basically zero oil draining back out of here because like I said you already have those big drain holes there so yeah I'd say just standard Chevy lifters um or the factory Volvo lifters are just fine um I like I said a, a lot of people use a Chevy lifters I'm not entirely sure what advantage the Chevy lifters have over the Volvos I I don't have any Volvo lifters here, so I can't actually measure their weights, um, but yeah. Okay, thanks.